So to, um, our campaign was about cover cycle and uh, exactly we, was, we were dealing with a branch of it. It's the Recycling Market Development Zone, RMDZ. And it's a new program in Orange County. So basically that's our campaign. Before we go deep into our campaign and explain more about RMDZ, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves, starting with Julia. Hello everyone, my name is Julia Islas. I'm studying public relations. I've had some experience with the Newport Beach Film Festival and social media and sponsorship outreach. I was then able to take those marketing skills and apply them to our current campaign, in which I focused on client communication and production assistance. I'll now let you meet Eunice. Hello again, my name is Yunus Shabib. I'm a communication major. Uh, this is my last year emphasis in advertising. My experience in television production and video post-production, my previous work experience with Empire PBS and FNX TV as a video production and post-production. My focus on this campaign was creative uh, production, again, post-production video editing, as well as uh, client communication. Moving to Sean. Hello everyone, my name is Sean Hamada. I'm also in my final year. I'm studying communications with an emphasis in advertising. I've experienced in customer service, client communication, as well as coaching. For this campaign, I focused on client communication as well as objective implementation. I'd now like to hand it off to Alec. Hi everyone, my name is Alec DeLeon. I'm a communications leader with an emphasis in advertising. At uh, my experience at Saddleback Community College, I helped the Veterans Center with event coordination. And for this campaign, I was focusing on manufacturer outreach and production assistance. And hand it to James. Hello, my name is James, uh, and I'm majoring in communication advertising concentration. And I've experience in, in video production and sound engineering. And for this campaign, I'll be focused on uh, creative advertising execution. And next, pass it to Strong for the introduction. All right, thank you, James. So I'll be introducing our client, OCRMDZ. Uh, as well as briefly address the SWAT. So OCRMDZ is a program created by CalRecycle. Its purpose is to promote green business and aid in the implementation of recycled materials into their manufacturing process. So they accomplish this by helping manufacturers market their products, acquire loans, as well as feedstock. What feedstock is, is basically just re recycled materials. Um, and then they help companies turn these into things like soaps, bottles, clothing, surfboard fins, and much more. So the RMDZ spans through most of California. Our client is focused in Orange County. Um, so that's why it's OC RMDZ. Uh, it is Fullerton that serves as the zone administrator, Huntington Beach, Cities of Orange, Garden Grove, Stanton, Santa Ana. And uh, collectively these cities have, and unincorporated areas are a little over 112 square miles with a population of over a million. So onto the SWOT. So our main takeaway from our SWOT analysis, or I guess our two main takeaways was lack of visual representation as well as, as, well as brand awareness in the cities they operate in. I'll now hand it off to Julia to talk about the PEST. Right, so the main takeaway from our PEST analysis that we are sure to know when implementing our campaign was the enforcement of China's national sword. This was instilled in January of 2018 and meant that China would no longer be accepting our solid waste and recyclable materials. In response to the surplus of trash, California, specifically through CalRecycle, saw a solution through the RMDZ program. And now on to Eunice with our problem statement. Thank you very much, Julia. So basically the RMDZ, Recycling Market Development Zone, is a new program that came to Orange County to help the manufacturers in uh, RMDZ uh, in, in Orange County and help the manufacturers in here uh, to use recycling materials. So the problem is that they have lack of visual representation. When you go on their website, you don't really see much beside a lot of laws, a lot of the stuff that you gotta spend 20 to 15, uh, 15, 20 minutes to read through them and understand their mission. As well as the problem was COVID. You know, a lot of those proposal used to be uh, has to be done in face, face to face. But now to, uh, to COVID, uh, uh, manufacturers are not aware of the benefits that comes along with the RMDZ uh, Orange County. So our key audience, as I mentioned, manufacturers. So the primary ones uh, gotta be Orange County manufacturers. Secondary uh, key audience would be manufacturers in city of Fullerton. So 
Manufacturers in the city of Fullerton can feel confident to go to their city since the management is in the city of Fullerton and can ask about the benefits that come along with the program of the RMDZ. So our goal in this campaign was to provide OC RMDZ a visual representation uh, so manufacturer can be, manufacturers can be aware of the services that uh, Orange County provide for them. We came up with two objectives. So I'll leave Juliet uh, explaining the first objective and talk more about it. All right, so our first objective was to reach City of Orange manufacturers through an informative webinar. We focused on the City of Orange because their city members attended our meetings and vocalized their difficulty with marketing to their manufacturers. Orange is an array of manufacturers ranging from engineering to textiles to dentistry. And with so many areas of expertise, there's even more opportunity for RMDZ to share their services. We are given a list of 208 manufacturers and work through the month of October to find their emails. Once those emails were found, our client pitched an email introducing RMDZ and their various benefits. In addition to this information, a WebEx link and incentive to attend would be included to increase chances of participation. We plan the webinar to be held in November and aim for 10% of them to attend. Now, when it comes to tools and tactics, our tactic was to use the webinar to communicate with our audience and our tools that we found to accomplish this were through email and WebEx. Now to evaluate this objective is Alec. Alrighty, so to start off, um, for objective one, one of our teammates, James, made a fantastic flyer to help promote the webinar. The flyer included some brief highlights of the program along with contact info and webinar info. The flyer was not part of our original plan, but our client Antonia and the team decided it can only benefit us, so why not? And as a team, we were able to track down over 100 emails to send the webinar info to. And this is a list that they have now to keep, so this is potential clients for them in the future. And the flyer was distributed by our client Antonia in multiple platforms. And we also sent out an email that the team created together. And so as we were looking for manufacturers, um, it was hard to find legitimate emails. A lot of the emails were just info-based in their company, not necessarily getting in contact with anyone that would attend the webinar. And unfortunately, we only had members of Cal Recycle attend. We did not have any manufacturer attendance. This was obviously not ideal. That was our objective was to get manufacturer tenants, but it was a good learning experience. We learned like to not cast such a large net when it comes to a small market like this. Instead, we should have focused on creating, I mean, uh, for a handful of manufacturers to create a relationship with them to be able to give them more info face to face. And our original plan was to provide some type of incentive in the email to the manufacturers. We want to do a raffle of some kind and win some type of prize but we were unable to get any funding from our client. And just a quick shot of our flyer that James made for our webinar. And okay, so for objective two, we wanted to give RMGZ a visual representation as we mentioned earlier. So we planned on doing a video that highlighted the benefits of the RMGZ program. This is going to do, this is just a short video that included the program runner of RMGZ and also businesses that have used the program and just kind of hyping it up and saying good things about it. We conducted these interviews from October 18th to November 5th, and we finished the video on the 17th and were able to distribute it on the 19th. And this video had a call to action at the end, and our goal was to see at least three manufacturers sign up for the program after the video was posted. And Eunice will be evaluating objective two. Thank you, Alec. So for, for evaluating objective two, uh, objective two was a success. Uh, we successfully created a video that met our clients' needs. We got a lot of uh, good positive feedbacks from the state. So on, on the 19th, when we distributed the video, we had a meeting with the state for 45 minutes with the different counties explaining the program uh, and our mission in this program, in the, the new program in uh, Orange County. Uh, we got a lot of good uh, feedbacks and many um, counties were asking what, what program can we bring that can provide this service to us uh, from school and students. Uh, however, the downsides, we were not unable to measure our success. Uh, after the 19th, uh, we had a uh, lack of communication with our client. We scheduled an appointment for three times. Uh, we never got the chance to meet with the client again. So um, lack of communication, that was the only downsides. 
So the video that we created is an informative video uh, that can be sent to manufacturers in Orange County and can live for a very long time with the uh, OCRMDZ. Uh, it highlights the benefits of the RMDZ and what RMDZ offers to the community and to the manufacturers in Orange County, as well as has a call to action in the end. So people who watch it can go and watch the video and uh, watch the, 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 their site, visit their site. So we're gonna go ahead and play the video. It's a one minute, 45 seconds video, informative video. So we're gonna go for it. We are greatly pleased to be the host administrator for the Orange County Recycling Market Development Zone. And we look forward to all manufacturers coming in and enjoying the benefits of the RMTZ. The so Recycling Market Development Zone is an economic development program that was started by the state of California, CalRecycle, which is the state agency that oversees all solid waste and recycling programs. So the Recycling Market Development Zone in Orange County, we seek to help manufacturers utilize recycled content or secondary feedstock in their manufacturing purposes. The Public Services is happy to work with the city of Fullerton help promote the RMDZ and work with potential manufacturers to use our expertise in providing current market conditions and trends, and also helping them evaluate technology and equipment and helping bring a product to market that's better for the consumer and better for the environment. Recycling Market Development Zone offers economic incentives like loans up to $2 million, low interest rates, and most importantly, really technical assistance in trying to figure out if their idea can become a reality. So it's been a really exciting learning experience and also a great partnership. RMDZ opened our doors to get into some of these larger companies and our sales eventually went up and up and up. We will help you find locations. We will help you do the entire planning, building, fire, public works process. The Recycling Market Development Zone is able to help businesses be resilient and adapt to the changing economy of where their materials come from. We really believe that it is an incentive to manufacturers to stay here and to receive the benefits from the state of California. All right. Um, I, ho I hope the, uh, the audio and the image was um, okay. So with that being said, that was a video that I created. Uh, and now, I mean, after one day of, you know, presenting the video, it was on the Orange County Recycling Market Development Zone website. Uh, the the uh, Orange County now, they have it on the first top page. So instead of going before and, you know, reading all this long article, you can just watch one minute, 45 seconds explaining uh, RMDZ and their mission. Um, here's some behind the scene production, special shout out, thanks to, uh, Michael, John, uh, Michael Johnson, he gave us a tour and he was able to work with us. The public services was really helpful with this project. With that being said, I'll leave it to James to speak more about the timeline. James? Hey, um, so this is the presented um, timeline we have. And the next slide will be the actual timeline we had. So uh, we reached out uh, to our client at the beginning of each week for the span of the campaign. And uh, for the end of each week, we held team meetings to touch base and make sure we are staying on track. For objective one, we collected the content information of the manufacturers for our webinar, and it was done during week one. And we plan to hold the webinar during week three on November 7th, but because of the availability, we changed it to November 12th. For objective two, our informational video, we conducted interviews during week one and two. And the uh, editing start week two, and the video was distributed on November 17th. So all in all, we were able to stay on track with our timeline with only have to push back the webinar for a few days. And next for the budget, uh, our proposed client meeting hours is around 40 to 50 hours. And we were only able to get around 10 hours of client meetings times due to the scheduling and the availability conflicts. And we plan on spending around 70 hours in team meetings. And this time was doubled to 140 hours with all the works we had to put in and present to the state. Uh, the production were planned to take us around 20 hours, which includes reaching out to the clients to interview, making a script and organizing dates and times. We end up accomplishing it around 25 hours. Email outreach only took us around five hours and video production and editing was planned to take up a large amount of time at around 30, 40 hours. 
this was increased to seven hour, 70 hours to make our video perfect. And we plan to give everyone that attends our webinar a chance to win some type of giveaway, which uh, will cost roughly $100. But unfortunately, we didn't get the $100 budgets to do this giveaway. And in the early stage, we took around 50 hours of research and the flyer created for the webinar took around five hours. And next, I'll pass it to Alec for the takeaways. Okay, so to start with the positives, um, we were able to create a video for them that gave them a visual representation to make a lasting impression for their clients. This is something they're gonna have a long, for a long time. And we were able to present our campaign to all branches of CalRecycle, which included over 100 people. That was a cool experience. I've never done anything like that before. And we were able to obtain over 100 potential client emails. Also gain knowledge about how to most effectively reach clients in such a niche market. Like I said, with our failure with the webinar, we learned that we should have just focused on a handful with them and created a more intimate business relationship with them. And yeah, the state gave us a lot of positive feedback on our video and a lot of the representatives for their counties wanted to learn how they could do something similar for their branch of RMDZ. And so the challenges obviously due to COVID, that was a challenge just for all the groups, um, but we weren't able to meet with manufacturers face-to-face -face to present information. And that is how OCRMDZ has handled their business in the past. And lack of communication on our clients part this was mostly like a side project for our client. It wasn't necessarily um, her main priority. It was mostly trying to get OC RMDZ off the ground. And we did our, did our best to help the client with that. And also just production challenges due to COVID, limited shooting areas and people to interview. And like I mentioned before, difficult to find the correct emails for, to reach um, for our webinar. And of course, just meeting schedule conflicts with everything going on. And yeah, Eunice with our conclusion. Yeah, I mean, in conclusion, um, it's been a really great learning experience. We were really blessed to have such, uh, I mean, a positive message. Car Recycle has a really positive message on the community and the people in California in general. So for us being part of it, it means a lot to us. It was really definitely worth uh, our time and the experience that we got and under our professor's guidance, we were able to, you know, achieve uh, our objectives, uh, especially the second one under his gu guidance, we were able to deliver something that, you know, our client was happy with the, in the end. So again, thank you very much, professor. Our, we are the last, you know, uh, presenters for today for the class for this semester. So again, thank you very much. And thanks for our guests for joining us today. And now we have, you know, the floor open uh, for any questions. Again, thank you very much for your attention and yeah.